Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel. We're a few months from 2024, so let's talk goal setting. In this video, we'll be going through how I plan my year in Notion, the absolute best all-in-one project management system. I started using Notion about two and a half years ago and I pretty much use it for every aspect of my life. So I'm really excited to be sharing my love of Notion and be joining the fray of all the other creators on here who are doing the same. If this is your first time here, my name is Amir and on this channel, I talk about mindful productivity, wellness, and small actionable steps we can take to create more balance and find meaning on our current journeys. Before we get started, I just wanted to share that this is the final method of our Mindful Methods 2024 Reset Regimen, where we walk through our very detailed reset for 2024. So we did our mental, physical, and digital declutter. We did our vision board that I have here, and now we'll be doing our 2024 yearly planning. I'll go ahead and link the playlist in the description for all these videos, and you can also see the description to get access to the Notion Hub with free templates to do your own 2024 reset as well. It is a simple template that you can go ahead and grab there if you want to get started with some goal setting of your own. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so we're actually going to do a screen recording here for this. The template that I'm using today that you see here is part of my Mindful Life Goals Pack. This is what I'll actually be using for my 2024 yearly planning and my goal setting. If you want details on how you can get this exact pack, which includes this yearly planner, a weekly planner, an ideal week builder, a master tasks list, and the vision board planner that I actually used in my last video, then you can just go ahead and see the description down below. I'm just starting with an overview of what you're seeing here. This is my yearly planner. So we have our quick pages over here, kind of our navigation, which includes the link to the weekly planner, your master tasks list, and your vision board planner. The vision board planner we just used in our last video to do our vision board. And this was our result. So this is a synced block here. See how it's glowing in red? It syncs basically back to your weekly planner. So you can see it here and also your vision board planner which you see here. Over here, the first thing we have that we're gonna kind of fill out is this year's intention. Kind of side note, I'm in like a transition in terms of career, so what I thought I wanted to do in college might not necessarily be what I think is my actual like life's work. So I'm kind of just keeping it open. Um, I'm more focused on the alignment in my work. So basically I think my general kind of intention for this year is aligning my outward reality to reflect flow, peace, and flexibility. I am the architect of my life. And then kind of scrolling down here, so we have a few databases. We have our 2024 at a glance, which is basically like an overview of all of our goals and that we'll write here in a second. We have our quarterly breakdown, we'll have our monthly plans, and then we have our year in review, which is basically just some questions, some reflection questions that you can ask yourself at the end of your year. Kind of going into our 2024 at a glance, so we have a few views here. Um, we have your overall table view. We also have goals by status, so whether your goal is not started, in progress, whether you're done with that goal, whether you actually have moved your goal to being completed next year, or whether your goal is kind of no longer aligned. We have our goals by quarter. I like to kind of plan my goals using the SMART goal system. So one of the units is time. So I break my goals down into quarters so I don't kind of get overwhelmed. I can actually track my goals in quarters and then I have monthly action plans, a breakdown of those quarters by the three months with specific tasks or high level actions that I'll focus on completing. So that's how I think about it. That's what's basically on this main page. Um, and then we have explainers here, right? So we have an explainer here of how to use this 2024 at a glance database here, like right if we click down, there's a drop down. And then at the top, I have a video explaining on exactly how to use the template. So it's a very detailed walkthrough. So if you purchase the pack, you'll kind of have all those walkthroughs for each template essentially. I am going to go into my table view to start. My first goal is this building and sustaining a daily gratitude practice and evening reflections. So a little bit of context for this goal. I've done an okay job of journaling, right? I have like a digital journal um, that I've used kind of on and off, but it hasn't really been consistent um, because I think that's probably a product of my morning and evening routines not being pretty much stable throughout my weeks. So sometimes I, I I really fall off. Um, I'm not gonna lie. So I kind of want to add this into 
my nightly routine, and then my gratitude journaling in my morning routine. That's one of my goals to just kind of build consistency with that. You have a few contexts that I've put in the pack. So personal business or work you can do. Content creation, I'm a content creator. I'll be a small content creator. But so that kind of applies to me and I know a lot of other people. So you have kind of projects that you can put, for example, project A, project B, you can rename them for the specific name of the project. I have it as a personal goal. This will be done by, let's say quarter two. Throughout the six months of the year, I'll give myself to see if I've really built and sustained that daily practice. Um, and then action plan will kind of get to later. Tasks will get to later. And then our status, of course, is not started. So when you open the goal, I basically created a goal setting template. So this is just kind of further reflection on the goal. So my reasons for pursuing the goal, I value being able to reflect on my inner thoughts. I want to cultivate a daily gratitude practice at the start of each day to serve as a reminder to go into each day with positivity. Scrolling down, what would success look like for me? Success in building this practice looks like consistent journaling and evening reflection every day or I'll give myself room to say every day or most days of my week. What habits do I need to develop to achieve this goal? Developing consistent morning, evening routine that includes these practices. I would need to parent myself so that I have more consistent wind down times. What are three things that would stop me from achieving this goal? Not having boundaries set. I think whether work, other people, and allowing things to eat this sacred time up. Essentially, I think one thing that would stop me from achieving this goal, not having boundaries, maybe taking clients or picking up shifts. I teach early morning classes, so maybe that would require me kind of shifting some of that scheduling around. I also teach late evening classes. And so I have a lot of space between my day that I typically preserve for like work like this, right? Like my other kinds of tasks. So if my mornings, my early mornings when I wake up and my late evenings when I'm going to bed are filled with working, I'm kind of blessed as a current Pilates instructor right now that I can have my shifts designed a certain way, right? So I might be able to kind of move those things around and basically kind of reassess if these hours are, are working for me and I can actually kind of change those hours so not creating a space in which I enjoy journaling not having clear wind down times to cut other work screen time off how can I prevent those things from happening reevaluating my shifts other responsibilities and setting those boundaries maybe revamping digital spaces, journal space. Who might be able to help me achieve this goal? Really me, but I would say maybe in terms of the environment, maybe partner, but right? we're kind of on this like flexion, meditation journey together. Other people who are affected by my work, kind of working with them to say, hey, like these are the hours that I'm available. Okay, so we go down to monthly action plan. So my monthly action plan, as I explained, is basically from this kind of more broad high level goal for my year. I'm creating a specific plan for my goal that's gonna be kind of set up at months. And then from there, I kind of get a little bit more detailed and have individual tasks. So I give you a little drop down here. We would first select filter. We would go down to related goal and then we would click on the goal that we just did, right? The building and sustaining of that daily practice. And then from here, we can go ahead and start filling out our action plan. Using I Do Week Builder to reevaluate my schedule, I would think that I would probably get a handle on that right out the gate in um, January. We have it listed under our action plan for our goal. If you go ahead and scroll down here, it's also noted here, right? This is our dashboard for our monthly action plan. Our monthly action plan for this one hasn't been started yet. But you can see there's a table view and then there is a board view here. And then I'm just gonna kind of take some time here to fill out some other goals. So, so far I have making more time for different types of Pilates. I have building and sustaining a daily gratitude practice. Also building and sustaining a meditation practice. I have leaning into work that fills me up 
I'm gonna take this time to kind of fill out the rest of my goals and then I will jump into showing you the quarterly breakdown and how all of these databases that I have throughout the pack link to one another for this brilliant goal setting system. So I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. So here we have a few of my other goals kind of filled out and then I'll go back in and do some action plans for some of them. Now I wanna say that not every goal has to have an action plan. Something like for example, moving out and finding a home with actual steps and tasks, etc would require like an action plan and more of those little detailed tasks. We have our quarter view, so you can see clearly per quarter, and then you see we have the context listed and then the status listed for you. And then if you wanted to look at all of your goals by status, we have that here. So when you progress, you can drag and drop to these different buckets. So when you go down to our quarterly breakdown here, for example, if we clicked on quarter one, you can see this window pops up. Right, we have our quarterly goals. We also have our action plan that shows up and then we have our tasks. These databases are essentially all linked databases. So this database is the same database that we filled up up here. Of course, we filled out our action plans. Lastly, we have our My 2024 tasks. So this is actually found in your goals pack, your master tasks list. It connects to basically your yearly planner and your weekly planner. For example, if we were taking our goal of moving out and finding a home, and if we wanted to relate it back to that goal, let's say, for example, it would be research properties and call agents, for example. This little tab, so just a little checkbox that you can kind of click to say whether you've completed it or not. And then same thing here, our context would be personal. For my tasks, I like to kind of write down whether or not it would require a high or low amount of energy from me. So this was probably a low energy task. Let's say my due date for this is like the second week of January. I like to also write down the amount of time that I estimate that a task would take me. So let's say this task in total would take me like two hours or something. I like to also write down the priority level so I can kind of organize my weekly tasks in that way. So I have high priority, low priority, and then might do some days basically like I might get to this or someday when there's a day that I don't have a lot going on, I'll push that task off to that day. So I would say this is a pretty high priority task. Related goal and related action plan. So essentially it allows you to link this specific task to your goal. So I would click on it and then just search for my specific goal here. It is related to moving out and finding home. I didn't put a specific action plan for this as of yet. For the other one that we did, for example, our journaling practice, you would just click on your related action plan and you can see the action plan that we have there. This yearly planner is something I would kind of access kind of here and there, right? But my task list and my weekly planner in particular is something I would access basically on the daily at the start of the week, but also daily. You can use this property called day and then you would click on Monday and then that would essentially show up under your Monday tab. So it's really cool. Literally all the things are linked. And then what's cool about this is after you would complete your task, when you click accomplished, it goes away from your weekly planner. So you can just kind of see front of mind all the things that you have. If you go into your master tasks list, which is here, if you go in your archive, it is in your archive here. So it's a really cool system. I've gotten so much value out of this system. It's provided me a way to really systemize my goal setting, a way to take actionable steps towards achieving my goals. So that is it for our 2024 Mindful Methods Reset Regimen. I had such a blast and I feel so much better and lighter and brighter and feel so excited about going into this new year strong. I, for one, I'm so excited about what this new year has to offer and I'm wishing you the best and the happiest of new years and I cannot wait to continue learning and growing with you all in the new year. Thank you so much for watching and stay mindful. Bye.